Blender tutorials for beginners, for game designers, for... What? Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back. My name is Kabir from Visual Cube and in this video we have new things to learn in Blender. So, before that, before we start doing things in Blender, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. So let's go, let's start doing things in Blender. So in previous video, I forgot one little thing to show you and that is uh, moving rotation and scale, which is shortcut on your keyboard. Instead of using this options over here at our left hand side, we can just select this cube. And if we want to move, you can click G on your keyboard and you can move it around. Also, you can click uh, R key to rotate and S to scale. All right, so again, I'm gonna click G key on my keyboard and you can see that we can move around. And if I click, for example, X, it will be locked on that X axis. And basically you can just move on that X axis. And for example, you can do, uh, you can do Z axis and Y axis. So that's the thing what I wanted to show you. So now it's time to add some new options. So right now we are in object mode. We need to go in edit mode to start editing this, this cube over here. So how you can go in that edit mode. So select this cube over here and you can go and click your uh, tab key on your keyboard or you can go here and select edit mode. So I'm gonna click tab key on my keyboard and right now we are in edit mode as you can see. So the first option over here is vertex select. So with the ver vertex select, we can just select vertices around this cube. So this is the first step for modeling. Without this option, basically you can't modeling. So when you learn how to use this option, then you can start do anything and whatever you want. So right now we have this object, this simple object, which I created before and um, we're gonna try to recreate it. So the first step is to create a cube. So click Shift A, go in Mesh and select Cube. The next step is to go in Edit Mode. So tab on your keyboard and select this third option over here, which said Face Select, and select this, this top face. The first option which we are gonna use is Extrude. So you can go here at our left hand side and click on Extrude Region, or you can click E to extrude this face on your keyboard. So I'm gonna click E on my keyboard to extrude and I'm gonna pull it up like this. And I'm gonna click S to scale down, to scale it down a little bit to create this shape like this over here. The next step is to click E again and S to scale down. So now we have this uh, little box over here and we're gonna go and extrude this again and pull it up like this. And now we need to create this big box at the top of this little tiny box. So how to do that? Again, E and S to scale it like this and click again E and pull it up. So yeah, basically that is it. And click again tab to go in object mode and we can move it around like this. It's not 100% similar, but we got the point. So now we're gonna use bevel tool. So with bevel tool, we can create this sort of shape. Okay, so I'm gonna select this object over here, go in edit mode and select this uh, edge selector, edge selector option. All right, and I'm gonna go here and with a shift key, we are gonna select all these four edges. And also we can go down and with shift and alt double click, we can select these four edges in once. When we select that, we can go here in bevel or we can just click control B and put this down like this.
and we are finished with our shape. And last tool which we are going to use in this tutorial is called the loop cut, which is over here. So we can click there, or we can do that by clicking Ctrl R on our keyboard, and we can see these yellow lines over here representing that loop cut. We have horizontal and we have vertical loop cuts. So we're going to try to recreate this shape on our left side. So we need here two loop cuts. So how to add more loop cuts? So scroll up with your mouse wheel and you can add more loop cuts. So I need two loop cuts over here and I'm going to click left click on my mouse. And right now we can see that we can move this up and down. So I don't need to move this up and down. So I'm going to click right click and that loop cut is going to be in that first position. So right now I'm going to go and select face select here and go and select with alt and shift key all this faces around and I'm going to click scale to scale this up a little bit here like this and I'm going to go and select this face over here again with alt and shift key and I'm going to add a loop cut on this part over here I'm going to add one loop cut and click right click on my mouse and I'm going to click S to scale and scale this down a little bit like this. And also I'm going to select this, this edge over here and scale it down. Something like that. Okay guys, that is it for this video. I hope you learned something in this tutorial. If you learned something, don't forget to subscribe to this channel, like this video, share this video with your friends, and see you in the next video. Goodbye.